Hello everyone and welcome to Bedpost Product Reviews, the show where I review fun toys with funny people, usually, but this time that just certainly is not the case. Both because I'm here solo and don't have a guest, but also because I'm not technically reviewing a toy today, I am reviewing a place. Someone reached out to me from the office kinky space and offered me a few hours in their kinky play space right here in Toronto in exchange for an honest review. So here we go. I don't know what I was expecting. Um, I do have a lot of experience like in kinky spaces in dungeons, uh, a couple different ones throughout the city. Um, maybe because of the name, The Office. I was picturing like an office. <laughs> yes, I saw pictures, but like I was like, are there going to be washroom facilities? I didn't really go in having done much research. I just brought some baby wipes and I was like, let's do this. So I was like a little surprised to um, come over to this like cute, quaint, kind of old apartment building. There was like a little kitchenette, there was like a full bathroom, there was like a little kind of lounge area if you wanted to just kind of hang out and watch porn, I guess. And then of course, the main event was the dungeon space. So it was like basically like the master bedroom of this apartment has been converted just to a play space. And I had it for three hours. I believe you can rent by the hour, um, or of course you can go overnight because it is a, again, full apartment. So I got there and I like finished my like quinoa salad that I had brought. <laughs> you gotta fuel up for a three hour play session. We didn't necessarily need to bring anything because they had not only like some cool play furniture, including like a St. Andrew's cross, um, a like little kind of uh, breeding bench, I'm gonna say, <laughs> a four post bed. Um, there was a massage table as well, but not only the furniture, but like there were handcuffs, bondage equipment, rope, floggers, nipple clamps, a bunch of different things. There was even like a wig. And like, let me tell you the vibe, because I work in some dungeon spaces, and this was still really cool for me to go to this dungeon space, because it was a totally different decor energy to the play spaces that I'm used to. Basically, it was like very red light district feeling. It was like red walls in the main dungeon space. Um, they had some like funky lights installed, right? So you could have like different colors of light changing. When I first came in, it was just like on strobe um, and I couldn't get it off of strobe. I was like, this is the problem. Thankfully, the person I brought was able to um, <laughs> just figure out how to work the lights. I should say also, as incompetent as I was trying to figure out the lights, I also kind of have a lot of anxiety surrounding like locks and stuff so it is a self check-in right which would be easy for any regular person <laughs> but for me it felt like an escape room trying to get the key and do the code and do the thing I was just like overwhelmed luckily the uh, owners <laughs> of the office gigi space were really quick to respond to my DMs when I was like, help. It was great. We used some of the toys they had provided. We used some of the toys we brought. We took a bunch of pictures. It was like a really nice space to take pictures in. So um, I've got like some cute pictures of us around the space as well, which is fun. It'd be really great for photo shoots, for example, or shooting content, like adult content. And yeah, there are porn creators out there and probably love this space. Or just like a cute overnight for a couple, or a couple, or more couple to enjoy. So if you are interested in checking out the Office Kinky Space, you can go to their website. It's thekinkyoffice.com, or you can follow them on Instagram at theoffice underscore kinky space. But yes, thank you so much for watching this review. We'll see you next time with another fun product that I'll be reviewing either lonesome so lonesome, lonely, or with a funny person. <laughs> okay, bye.